All right. Hello, guys. So hopefully you made it from Facebook where I'm going to post this link and then switch you over to YouTube. Um, a little bit of brain fog, not really sure why. I know that I had seven days of Christmas planned. I was supposed to be here at 10 o'clock starting yesterday. Totally forgot about it. Not totally because I actually have stuff like lined up. I have stuff that says Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, but just, I don't know if you could, um, you can't see my face today, but just whoosh, right over my head. Not sure what happened. Sorry about that guys. So I'm posting the video now. Um, so even though the title is going to say seven days of Christmas, just know that it's six days because I forgot. I'm not sure what to do. <sighs> what else to say except for I'm sorry. So hopefully you guys find this um, video helpful with some gift card cuteness. So let me show you what we're going to make. We're going to make this guy right here. It has a little tabs, right? Oops, I forgot my punch. My punch is right there. It's not that far. Okay. So um, this is kind of using up what we have in our craft room. That punch is no longer available from Stampin' Up, but it's something that I've held on to um, because I just kind of love it, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a Santa face. And the Santa face comes from a paper pumpkin. So this was November's, yeah, uh, November? And even October's, I think it was October's paper pumpkin. So always great to get paper pumpkin. Where's my ink? We're gonna stamp in memento because we're gonna use a couple of blends just for some basic coloring. So we're gonna stamp this guy like so. And then, um, on the sample, I don't know if you, oh yeah, you can see. See, I used this um, enamel effects basic. It came, it came in white, black, and real red. Uh, we're not going to do that here because it would take too long to dry. So like we did this in class, and the very first thing they did when we started crafting was make this guy, put the enamel on, then set it off to the side. Oops, went a little crazy there. It's a good thing we're going to cut him out. So this is just some basic coloring. I'm not really going to do any shading. I just want to get his hat red. If you wanted it a little bit darker, you could just go over it again. Every layer of the blends is going to make your color darker. So even though blends come in a light and dark pen, for the color, um, like this is real red. If you just keep adding to it, it will get darker and darker. You definitely want to make sure that you have something underneath because blends bleed through your cardstock. And then we're just gonna give Santa a little flesh color here, a little nose. So cute. Okay. And then we're going to cut him out. We're going to fussy cut him. Probably won't get too detailed here. Oops. Oh, crazy. So hopefully everybody is where they need to be in the planning process for Christmas. I know when people ask me, are we, are you done with Christmas? Are you finished? Are you all ready? Not that we're done with Christmas, but are you all ready for Christmas? No, I'm not all ready for Christmas. I don't care that we have six days until Christmas. If you haven't guessed by now, I think I'm a procrastinator by nature. So, um, 
shopping for Christmas dinner will happen tomorrow. We figured out hopefully what we're going to have if the stores have what I want. If not, as my dad said, well, we could always get a bucket of chicken. So we're going to cut him instead of the the um like it's kind of glittery um the effect the glittery effect on his hat we are going to put a little bling on him since i'm not going to make you guys wait for the drying time and i didn't do it ahead of time but any little bling would do we've got some white sparkly here where you're going to put that on the end of his cap like so there's that. Now, we're going to put him off to the side. We are going to get our holder. So our holder is just one of these bags. I'm sure you've seen them. We've sold them in a handful of different um, like decorations. Um, I'm sure you can get them at the big box stores. But that is going to be our holder. I've got some designer series paper here that we're going to use to cut for our tabs. Let's see. Like so. That one. And definitely want to get some red in there. So, love our designer series paper, right? Because most of the time it's two sided. So we've got those pieces um, and then we have just little pieces that are going to be um, your holders for things. So we're going to take our bag and we're going to fold it, not quite in half. So I want the jagged edge to be kind of like a pocket, kind of like a pocket. We're going to take our tear and tape. And on the smaller side, we're going to put it just down the edges, like so. Down that edge. And then we're going to do it down this edge. Like that. It's so we're not seeing um, comments or anything pop up on the screen. But I wanted to get this video out to you guys just in case it is helpful. helpful. Plus... I said I was going to do it, so I want to um, get it. But I will post another video tomorrow. I don't know if it'll be live, but it will. Um, it will be posted. So we're going to decorate now. So in um, the paper pumpkin, they actually gave us like the two the from. So we're going to, I think that was just uh, November's paper pumpkin. So if you have a to and a from, you can always just handwrite it like that. And we're going to decorate a little bit um, with some snow flakes. And I kind of just wanted, I didn't want to get too many supplies out. This is the card that we're going to put the gift card on. So we'll do a little bit more down here. There we go. So these were just cut to fit. So whatever size bag you have is this is what um, ooh, got my finger on the red um, is whatever size you're going to need. So I can't really tell you what size because it's going to be individual to each pocket. So we're going to take these tabs and we're going to alternate them. So we'll put that guy in the middle, fold it up, and then this guy. 
I'm actually okay with that because one, I could cover it up like this, but um, which I guess I probably will do, but um, it's the one that the gift tags or the gift card's gonna go on. So mm. my inky finger, just a little oops, right? Okay, I'll fold this guy like so. Now for the front, see, so these guys go in the pockets and this is oh, it's sticking so much. Okay. Let's see. Oop, the back sticking. Put that down. All right. So this is going to be your gift card pocket. Isn't that cute? How cute, right? Okay. So let's finish up the front. We're going to need some dimensionals for Santa. We want to put those at the top and the bottom of him because we're going to take some ribbon and just tie it around like so with a bow see this can work. there we go like that now I'm gonna cut a little bit of that off And then Santa is going to go on either side of this ribbon, like so. Oh, so cute. And then I will probably even put a glue dot down here. Let's see, where are my glue dots? I always like to put a glue dot behind the knot of whatever bow I'm making, just to kind of keep it in place, like so. I'll go up a little bit like this with him. And you could put some on the back too, if you wanted. It's up to you. I'm gonna do it just one. I've got some glue dots that could be used. Here we go, just like so. And then I would um, put a dimensional or a glue dot here. If, I'll tell you that um, I sold some of these at Craft Fair and I just put a dimensional on there like that. So that way you could stick your um, gift card right on there. You're all good to go. So hopefully you guys like this little gift card holder. Perfect for any occasion. Doesn't have to be just Christmas, right? Um, thank you guys so much for being here. I'm so sorry that I forgot all about seven days of Christmas. I may have been just a tad bit ambitious, but we'll get it done, right? All right, you guys have a very merry, um, what is today? Monday? And I will be back tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye.